Okay guys, no more cupboard jokes, not coming out to cover this video. Done that joke to absolute death. We're not doing it anymore. Surprise, motherfucker. We're going to be reviewing the Halo Top Sticks and putting them in a head-to-head -head battle with the Halo Top Tubs, finding out which one's better. Can these stick it to the tubs or are they gonna fail to stick up for themselves? Yeah. Alright guys, so we have the birthday cake flavoured sticks and the chocolate chip cookie dough tubs. I know, I know I should have got the same flavour, but the supermarket I went to didn't have them. They only had this and this, okay? So let's just roll with that. So we're gonna check out the nutrition in a moment, but we're gonna start off by just examining just the differences between these two, just towards the naked eye, right? So, obviously, size-wise, not saying size is everything, but these are kind of a bit smaller, and therefore the calories, the protein, and everything else is gonna be a little bit smaller. So, being the smaller of the two, the sticks actually have only 90 calories per stick, which is actually pretty good, like for a snack and everything. Now, the Halo Top Tub is a total of 360 calories for the entire tub. However, with the calories per serving, which is around about a quarter of the tub, is actually 90 calories as well. So you've got a complete match there. But let's face it, you're gonna eat the entire tub. I do that. I don't know anyone who doesn't eat the entire tub of Halo Top. But chance of that, you're probably gonna only eat one of these. So just while we're talking about the macros, I'm gonna put them both on the screen right here. The protein content in both is fairly similar, but the Halo Top tub actually has one gram more per serving. So you have 3.7 grams of protein in this, and 4.6 grams of protein per serving of this. But let's face it, we're probably gonna eat the entire tub because that's what you do with a tub of Halo Top. It's kind of the law. So for the entire tub, it's actually 18 grams of protein, which, let's face it, that's pretty good for an ice cream. Which is quite important, given that the high protein content is kind of what sets Halo Top apart from like the other low calorie ice creams, such as the low calorie Ben and & Jerry's and the low calorie like Aldi and Asda brands as well. Now protein's a really important nutrient, not only if you're trying to gain muscle, but also if you're trying to lose weight. A protein has a really high thermal effect on the body, which essentially means you burn off about 30% of the calories just digesting the protein and putting it to good use in your body. Now these are a little bit less of a guilty pleasure now, and all of a sudden they're like kind of a source of protein and fiber. Now let's go into a taste test before these melt. So I'm gonna go for the birthday cake flavored lollies already. God, the box feels soggy. So I had a bit of a disaster. Opened these, they were completely melted. I put back in the freezer for about an hour. They are still completely melted. So, I'm gonna try another one. Let's see what that's like. Presentation wise, pretty rough. Uh, I've had hangovers that were, were better than that. We're gonna have to eat this with a spoon. So, we're going for a, a taste test right now. Like, yeah, tastes like ice cream. It's pretty sugary. They were only out for 15 minutes while I was filming that. The, the video clip is 15 minutes long. I was saving it by using the stick as a spoon. It tastes very good. Like, I don't know what to say. Um, I wish it hadn't melted so fast. Like, I feel like if you, like, I feel like if you want to have this, you have to kind of eat it as you take it out of the freezer. You know, this is, this is really melted. And again, it doesn't seem like there's much there. That was, that was over and done with far too quickly. So now we're gonna try the tub. Presentation wise, I like this a whole lot more. Just get this off. And it seems to have kept its shape a little bit more as well, which is good. Now it's, you know, it's quite soft. Oh. Based in Leeds, used to live in Leeds. So you're gonna kind of be up to shit creek without a puddle if these melt on you, but they're pretty nice. They're pretty good. I, I actually kind of like these. They don't really leave a bad aftertaste in your mouth. This on the other hand, first initial bite, oh my goodness, that is so nice. Then you get a chunk of the cookie dough and it's it kind of puts you off. Like it kind of tastes like Parmesan cheese crossed with a little bit sick. Would not recommend a cookie dough Halo Top. So the birthday cake lollies, would definitely recommend it. Absolutely delicious, great flavor, cannot recommend them enough. However, if you're gonna eat them, eat them straight away. Get them out of the freezer, put them in your mouth immediately. If you've got time to take off the wrapper, great. But honestly, this is kind of, these melt so quickly. I've never had an ice cream melt so fast in my life. It's not even that warm today, it's 19 degrees outside. 
that's not that warm for August. So let's just get into price on these, just to finish off. Normally both of these retail at five pounds pop. For a tub of ice cream or three lollies, to me, that's a little bit too much. But the good news is oftentimes you'll find them discounted at two pounds fifty at one supermarket or the other. If you don't find them at Tesco's, go to Asda. If you don't find them discounted at Asda, go to Morrison's. You will find them somewhere. They will be on offer somewhere. But bear in mind, because these are the same price, they are not the same size. So three lollies is 300 mils of ice cream. However, one tub is 473 mils of ice cream. So bear in mind, you get more value from an eat in the tubs than you do the sticks. So that's it guys. Thank you for sticking around for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, just to finish off with a question, comment below, what's your favorite kind of Halo Top ice cream? In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. See ya!